YouTube, this is your girl Amber Gonzalez from the channel Amber Gonzalez TV and today I'm going to share with everyone on how I learn languages. So I just uploaded the Spanish version and this is going to be the English version. How do Ambi learn languages? So if you're interested in this type of video, go ahead and keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not a subscriber. Let's go ahead and get started. learn languages number one I do take classes I am learning the Korean language um, I can have a very subtle conversation in Korean but I am definitely still a beginner at conversation so I'm still learning I can read and write so I am currently taking online classes with a professional Korean teacher who lives in Korea our classes are through Skype so that's number one I do take a professional class sometimes twice a week it could be three times and there's time where it's only one time a week and with that being said bringing me to number two I practice outside of the classroom so you can't just learn by taking classes of course not you have to be able to practice outside a classroom you have to have people you can practice with when I see native people in public rather I'm in the airport because you all know I'm a flight attendant um, Every time I see a Korean person and they don't look busy or anything and I'm not busy, I take it upon myself to go up to them and practice speaking Korean. That is my opportunity to walk up to them and say, excuse me, sir, is it okay if I practice Korean with you? I'm learning Korean. I'm a Korean student. Will you help me? And it's literally like a five to ten minute conversation and there's my practice for the day right every time I see a native speaker I make it my duty to practice with them I can be in the supermarket I will purposely go to Korean restaurants and eat out with my girls and just literally so I can practice the language there's only one dish that I truly am in love with on the Korean menu and even if I'm not even going to eat I'm literally going to practice not order some drinks or something so you have to take it upon yourself to practice with native speakers that's the way that you're gonna learn so let's say you're not learning in a classroom you don't have a professional teacher but there are plenty of online classes free online classes on the internet on youtube take what you're learning out of those videos or those classroom settings and make sure that you're practicing it with native people which brings me to number three you want to write things down so i have a bunch of different journals and notebooks these are two but that's because the other ones are in my backpack and in my suitcase for work and in the bathroom everywhere I have a bunch of journals, uh, daily diary, mi diario, all of that stuff I have. Um, and I write in Korean any chance that I get. I would just make up random sentences like, okay, uh, ma'am, do you need a wheelchair? That's a phrase that I would use on the plane, right? So I would write that phrase down in my notebook. Ma'am, do you need a wheelchair? If I don't know how to say it, I'll look it up. And then I'll review it with my teacher on Skype. And then he would correct me and then... There you go. That's a new phrase that I know. You know, so I practice that way, but I make sure I make it my duty to write in Korean a lot. So let me show you guys. <laughs> and I am taking courses as well. I'm doing this six week course that's sponsored by Yonsei University, one of the professors there. And um, I have been taking lectures in Korean. So, like, this was lecture one, right? But every page I have plenty of. Korean stuff that I'm writing. Like I'm writing all the time in Korean. So yes, I am writing a lot. And last but not least, applications. You want to download language exchange apps like HelloTalk, Speaky. These are good language exchange apps where you can find native speakers on this app that will practice the language with you. In exchange, they're learning English or your native tongue, right? I have so many friends on this app called Speaky. Every day I'm practicing with someone. I mean, you have voice messaging, you can go live, um, just all type of things you can do with these apps. And it's really cool. You can video chat with the other person and they're in their country, you in your country. I mean, this is a perfect, amazing way for you to get practice in with that language. So um, before I end this video, I want to say this because it's 
this is really, I mean, a lot of people need to hear this. You cannot be spoon fed the language. You have to learn it yourself, right? It doesn't matter how many college courses or how many classes you take at a language institute. You have to learn the language yourself. Nobody can teach you anything that you have to learn, meaning you have to self-study. You have to teach yourself. You have to be willing to take the initiative to practice. You cannot learn by just sitting in the classroom, getting spoon-fed information. It won't stick that way. Okay, so that's it, everyone. This is how I learn languages. I take classes. I practice a lot with native speakers. I write a lot. I practice outside the classroom with native people and I download applications with language exchange and I'm doing this all the time, right? So that's how I learn languages. I hope you all like this video. If you have not seen the Spanish version of this video, click the link in the description box and that is it, you all. Muchísimas gracias por ver y hasta la próxima. Adios, cansamida, obrigada.